It's Rajan Pablo. We're covering the Geo Mami Film Festival and we are delighted and honoured. It celebrates 25 years next year. It's Joe Jita, Voise Kandar, and we're joined by the creative force behind that movie, Mr. Mansur Khan, and a lady who cut her directorial assistant at that film, then became a choreographer, Miss Farah Khan. Um, guys, thank you for joining us. Thanks, uh, thanks for having us here. Uh, firstly, sir, we've got to ask you. Um, uh, how excited were you to know that this was going to be part of the festival, Georgi Tavo Hisekander? I know, Mansoor, you are not excited at all. <laughs> you know, I love the fact that I'm doing this interview with Farah because she gives better answers than me oh. and more honest ones. Uh, it's not that, it's just that uh, uh, for me it was, uh, this, this platform was wonderful because it's a film fest. And obviously uh, Anupama and uh, uh, Rajiv were very excited about it. And for me, it's the, the, what matters is that the audience should be really interested in, uh, you know, uh, having this covered. But it's a treat to meet the whole crew again. For I, sure. How long has it been since you've seen everyone? I, I see them in bits and portions, but it's uh, nice to, I mean, it was quite overwhelming too. And the only reason I actually came, I've attended nothing in this film fest uh -huh. at their request because they said Mansoor would be here. Wow. And it's, uh, you know, he, I, I owe him my entire career. So uh, it was good to be here and catch up with Wonderful. him though. So, you know, like you talked about this film, like you were quite disheartened. You went through so many trials and tribulations, but it's a film from your heart. Was there any time you, your heart was truly broken while making this? Yes, I, I shared that. Uh, my heart was broken. I mean, my confidence was broken. Uh, I still felt I didn't, I didn't disbelieve the film. It was not like I felt, oh, this is not a good film. Uh, the, the, what, was, what I was wondering was, how will I ever make it? You know, how will, it, how will it get made because so many things are going wrong. But I never had any doubts about the, the story uh, ever. Yeah. And you know, it was a very difficult movie to make. I mean, a cycling film, there were no monitors. You know, now you have yeah, so yeah. much, you have drones and you have Jimmy Jibs and mm -hmm. you have the equipment that would make it uh, also easy, you know, yes, yes. Uh, chopper shots and things. That was nothing. There was literally like a camera and everybody cycling up and down like 400 times. Mm -hmm. You know, and he had to keep track of everything. Everything. This shot will come after this. This cycling shot will come. I think it took him what six months to just mm. edit, edit the edit cycle that, yeah. race. Um, and you're saying that this is a, quite a big thing for you in your career as yes. a choreographer. Yes. So, and that's Hupela Nasha. That's actually actually the first day we shot was Yaan ke hum Sikandar. Mm. I think that was the first uh, thing we shot. But yes, I think the whole song Pela Nasha was what we discussed first and. And we were shooting Yaan Ke Am Sikandar and that simultaneously uh, in that location. So you come from like, you know, a filmmaking background, your family beforehand, but all the trials with this film, did you, were you not used to it? Was it not part and parcel of your foundation and family? Um, no, I, I'm the black sheep in the family. Yeah. So, uh, He's Cornell educated. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, uh, uh, I used to, I, I could have never imagined I would make films. Okay. Whereas Amir is a cinema, uh, lover, I mean, he, he is, his life is cinema. My nephew Imran, you know, Farah, all these people are people whose hearts are in cinema. So I'm a very unlikely candidate. <clears throat> and I wanted to do engineering, but I came back. So for me, it was more a, more a question of proving to my father that I can do something useful. Uh, that's that, that was really the germ behind this film. Farah, what is the magic that Mansoor has that everybody wants him to come back to directing and producing? Yeah, I think. A, I think his movies, whether it's Kayaman Singh, Kayaman Tuk, whether it's Joe Jita, whether it's Joe, Shivan, Akele, or Akele Tum. I think he's made just four movies and there's always an enigma about somebody who goes away, leaves it all behind and goes away, you know, uh, which is a very brave thing to do. It's a, Nobody wants to leave the lure of Bollywood and, uh, you know, so for I think he's done a really brave thing. I hope I have the courage to do this sometime soon, I would say, uh, you know, take the kids and just go away and live a... Uh, life away from this so I think he's done that and it, I think people really love his movies more than anything I think they love his movies having said that when you come back to make the movie they'll be tearing you to bits <laughs> <laughs> well guys can no, we just I'm glad I left at the right <laughs> time <laughs> can we just say thank you very much thank for talking so to much. us thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much